Hello players, today we're going to talk about iLocks and the iLock License Manager, which is a free and very user-friendly tool. We receive lots of emails from you guys asking how to get your software and audio plugin properly activated. And today we're going to guide you step by step the whole process on how to do this right. We broke this process down into a few sections. First, how to create your free iLock account. Second, how to download the iLock License Manager, which is free and how to install it. Third, the three different ways to activate your software. I'm Carter at Avid Wave CV, where we share tips on how you can get the most out of your pro audio equipment. So before we get to the video, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell so you can receive first-hand great content coming out. I do want to mention that we have chapters below in case you want to fast forward to any portion of this video. Also, if you're interested in purchasing a physical iLock dongle, we have a link below where you can get a physical iLock dongle and receive free shipping within the United States. With that being said, here we go. Step one, how to create a free iLock account. The account that you create on iLock.com is used not only in the iLock website, but also in the iLock license manager application. Having an account allows software publishers to deliver licenses to you and allows you to manage those licenses. You only want to create a new iLock account if you never had an iLock account before. If you don't remember your user ID or you've lost your password or you are having difficulty trying to access an existing account, please select the online password recovery tools. Be sure to give some thought to your new user ID. This is one thing on your account that you will not be able to change. We do not recommend using your email address or first name if you are setting up a company account. Now the password. Although the software publishers will need your user ID in order to deposit licenses in your account, they will never need your password. The next section contains important verification information that is used to help you recover access to your iLock if you forget your user ID or password. Select your birthday, then choose your security question and enter your response. Choose your question and answer carefully. It has to be something you will always remember. Also make sure you're able to enter the answer exactly the same way, including capitalization, spacing, and punctuation. I can't stress this enough this verification information is required to regain access to your account if you have changed your email address and have forgotten your user ID and password. Please take the time to review the information to make sure it's correct. Next, review your privacy settings, read the terms of use and privacy policy, click on the box to agree with the terms of use, click create account to submit your information. This will send you an email which includes a confirmation link that you will use to confirm your account. This email confirmation process must be completed before you can use your new iLock account. If you don't receive a confirmation email after a few minutes, make sure to check your spam filters and adjust them to allow mail coming from iLock.com. Once you receive the confirmation email, click on the link. You will be taken to the 
account activated web page of the ilog.com website. If you're setting up an account for someone else, be sure to give them all the account information. Advise them to edit their profile and change it to their own information, including their email address right away. Step 2. How to download the iLock License Manager, which is free, and how to install it. Now it's time to download the iLock License Manager application, which is free. So go back to the iLock.com website homepage. On the left side of the iLock.com homepage, you should be able to see the iLock License Manager installers, such as for macOS, as for Windows, OS 32-bit, and 64-bit. Select the installer which fits the type of computer you have. I'm on the Windows OS 64-bit. I'm going to select that. After downloading, open the zip file, then run the iLock License Manager installer. The installation process is straightforward. Hit Next, Yes, and Install. Now, let's reboot the computer. Hello, I'm back. The computer has rebooted. Now, let's launch the iLock License Manager application. Click on the Sign In button, type your iLock ID and password that you have used to create your iLock account previously. Step 3. The three different ways to license your software. There are three different ways to activate your software licenses. On the left side of the iLock License Manager application, we have the cloud, the computer desktop, and the physical iLock dongle locations. As we said previously, if you are interested in working with a physical iLock dongle, there's a link below where you can purchase a physical iLock dongle and receive free shipping within the United States. Starting with the desktop. On the top side menu of the iLock License Manager, click on Licenses, Redeem Activation Code. If you purchased a software license, you should have received an activation code. This entry form allows you to copy and paste the entire activation code at once. Hit Next. You will be asked where you would like to redeem or activate your license. If you select the account, the code will be redeemed for one more licenses depending on the publisher. A license will show within your account and it will be available until you decide to activate it to a location at your leisure. If you select a location such as a physical iLock dongle, the license will be immediately activated and it will allow the protected software to run. We'll confirm that this is where we want to go and we will have a successful activation. What is the iLock Cloud? The iLock Cloud is a virtual iLock that can be used to activate licenses as an alternative to a physical iLock or the host. There is only one iLock Cloud instance per iLock account. Example, a user can only have a single cloud session at a time globally. The iLock Cloud licensing model is very convenient and flexible for the end user. A few iLock Cloud benefits are its quick cloud-based license activation with an iLock account sign-in, no hardware to install or remember, Cloud sessions are very, very low bandwidth and it's only passing data, license checks. 
while the protected software is running. The cloud license management is simple. There's no need to close a cloud session, but it's easy to do if necessary with the iLock license manager. The graceful license is handling and warnings if the internet connection is lost or not working very well. It's easy for a single user to access cloud-based licenses on different computer systems to accommodate workflow. After your software license has been deposited in your iLock account, you can come over here on the top side menu of the iLock license manager, click on file, open your cloud session, and you're good to go. If it's not open, that's gonna be grayed out. So that's all it takes to activate your licenses over the cloud. The iLock physical dongle. The iLock license manager application allows the user move licenses around. Let's suppose you want to use your physical iLock dongle to store your licenses. For that purpose, you can simply drag your software license and drop it to the physical iLock dongle. I'm not going to move it now, but you can press OK to continue. You also can deactivate and activate your licenses. On the left side of the iLock license manager application, you should have access to the general location where you can see all your licenses. So you can take your licenses off your physical iLock, desktop and iLock cloud and put them back to this general location which represents your iLock account. So you can shift them whatever you want or move them to another iLock account. You might be asking yourself, but how do I know if my license is officially activated? Well, just double click on the license then you should be able to see the license status. In this case, over here, the license is active. But remember, that being active, it doesn't mean it's working. You need to put the license to either a physical iLock, iLock cloud, or the desktop to make sure it works with your system. You don't have to leave your iLock license manager open. Once your software is registered, you can close it, then you're good to go. If this video helped you out, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you like what we are doing, subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you can receive first-hand great content coming out. Thank you very much for watching.